Hi, Alex. How are you? I'm very tired right now. I don't know why. Um, but I'm going to do a tarot reading for you because I know you asked a little while back. And, um, yeah. I got your birthday thing. It was really sweet. Um, I loved everyone's birthday wishes, really. Or whatever it was. Birthday greetings. I can't talk. I feel fried. I don't know. The hurricane keeping me inside for like the past three days has been really... I don't know. I'm getting like cabin fever or something. I'm just really tired. For really no reason. But anywho, I hope you're well. I miss you as I miss all of you very much. And I, I realize I look like shit. Uh, also because of the rain. Because my hair looked pretty decent when I got out of the shower, and then it got wet. Left my cake out in the rain, so to speak. Alright. Anywho, so, let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm actually going to use a slightly different deck. I've used this one with you before. Back in the day. So we'll use it again. And we're just going to ask for a general reading for you. We're going to see what's up. <clears throat> Hope you can hear me. Sorry, I'm talking quietly. <sighs> Gosh, a fever. So, how is Italy? I know you can't respond, but hopefully you can respond in another way. Via text, communication, or smoke signal. You know I'm very fond of smoke signals. Or flares, you know. American Sign Language. Any of these would be viable options for you. you know. Anywho. Um, so how, you know, I want to know how things are. How your second year up here is going. And, um, I don't know. You're as miserable as I am. <laughs> I don't know. I'm progressively less happy, it seems. But I don't know. This is not about me. This is about you. So may or may not remember my penchant for long periods of shuffling, so I apologize. I also apologize for the lighting. My lighting situation in this room for readings is just not ideal. But I've got my little reading light as a spotlight here. A desperation. <coughs> Okay, let's see if I can sort of... Oh, God, I hate built-in cameras for this. It makes it bloody, near well impossible to show you everything, but... Um, okay, there's some good stuff 
and there's some bad stuff um, that I can see. It seems like things have not been going well for you, but they are starting to improve. Um, I th it says that uh, fortune has smiled on you, to use a cliche. Um, you have experienced a bit of good luck because of all the bad stuff that has transpired. Um, the problem, or the the conflict is a little strange. I'm not sure it's so much a conflict as it is more just the focus that you are, uh, or rather the, the, the focal point of um, the situation. But what is um, crossing, what is crossing you is the Nine of Pentacles, um, which usually represents for me, it always represents things of beauty and value, um, sort of like luxury goods, or like the ability to buy luxurious things, or um, kind of, it represents the, the, oh, that's awkward, my mouth is in the corner of the video, and my nose, that's really attractive, um, but I guess the Nine of Pentacles for me represents uh, the the independence and the wherewithal of one's own ability to um, to I guess have um, to, to to be relatively financially well off. So that's sort of your issue right now. Um, perhaps it could also be problems of vanity. Um, that's coming to me for some reason, but I don't know. Um, I mean, it, whatever it is, it's some kind of issue or something that just isn't helping you. And I don't know, maybe it, it, it could be perhaps whatever financial security you are having or, or kind of uh, enjoyment of material things you are having at the moment it's not really helping in some way, or it's it's a it's a problem. I don't know. Um, the basis for this is uh, great anxiety and um, grief, and and in a way, punishment or guilt. Um, I don't know. I think you feel like you feel like someone has wronged you honestly you have the five of swords in the past and you ha so you have undergone some kind of defeat and you are still dealing in some ways with the negative repercussions of that and the grief that has come with that, you know, and it's almost like, um, you know, perhaps your trust was betrayed, or um, your, your, yeah, I mean, usually the Five of Swords indicates that someone has been taken advantage of because of their, uh, their emotions, really, and the um, I don't want to say, well, I, I sort of do because that's what it means, uh, sort of emotional weakness, um, you know, sort of wanting to cater to uh, the whims of others, you know, in a sort of empathetic kind of way, sometimes gets us burned, and that may or may not be the case here. I mean, I, I do feel that um, you know, either way, something kind of shitty has happened to you, and you're really, um, you're really worried about it, um, you're, you're still fretting quite a bit about it, and it seems like things are starting to take a turn for, for the better, um, 
you know, but it's it still seems like it's something that you are concerned about. Um, and I, I don't know who this is with, um, or rather what, what this is about entirely, um, but it, it does seem to be, it seems more work oriented than anything else, honestly, it seems more like this reading is, has to do with your career. So whatever, so so the problems you are facing here are, I would say, more career oriented. Perhaps specifically with an older man who has either a very earthy disposition, you know, is sort of business oriented, or is very practical and um, hardworking and steady, very temperate and mild, um, or he is a man, and or really, uh, he is a man, an older man with uh, dark features and uh, dark complexion and dark hair, as well as uh, dark features. So usually dark eyes, you know, again, dark complexion, usually black to brown hair. Um, so he seems to be involved here in some capacity and is involved in your in your plans for the future in some way and supporting you financially. I think you, it might even be your father, I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know if you're having um, familial financial problems. Um, but it looks like it could be, you know, it looks like you expected more support from this individual and have failed to get it for whatever reason. And you are very stressed about making up the sum, you know, so that it, it, you're stressed because you are not, you are not financially independent, you know, yet, um, not entirely or you are not without this help. I don't know. Um, I think you feel that you have managed to pull through this situation fairly well. Um, I think you see yourself as having a lot of determination and um, willpower to get through it. Um, you know that you're going to uh, strive to conquer whatever problem is in front of you here. And I do think that you feel a little bit better um, seeing this new development, which um, seems to be, again, for the better here. Um, it's sort of a change of fortune. And, I mean, I, I think the change of fortune is kind of both, um, both good and bad, as it often is, I think the change of fortune could possibly be, you know, the, the unexpected aspects of this loss of money. Uh, it could also be a sudden boon that you are in the process of, of getting. Um, it's a little ambiguous, to be honest with you. Um, but it does say that you see yourself as being fairly successful and well motivated through this and sort of like you've put your armor on and you're going to suit up and just you're going to woman up to the situation, you know. Um, environmentally, you have the Eight of Wands, which sort of tells me that you need this to happen quickly. Um, you need this money quickly. Something is due. And you need to get it in on time. It's sort of what that says to me. And I, I, again, I don't know if that's true. But I, I have this feeling that you've like missed a payment or something um, because of this financial instability. Um, now, your hopes and fears are represented by the lovers. And 
that's interesting given the context of this because it doesn't really go with the rest of the context. You also have a lot of air in general, by the way, and very little fire, which is not really good. And you don't have a lot of earth either. You are predominantly, wow, you have a ton of air. You are one stress case right now. Um, oh my. And it does imply that there could be arguings um, and problems uh, and confrontations that are happening between you and this man um, or other people as well. Um, and I think you, you, what you want out of it is to... I see this push in you to want to maintain the innocence of your relationship with this person. You want to still be on good terms with them. And I think that is the best possible thing for you to do. As it says, the crown for you in this reading is the Six of Cups, um, which usually indicates a sort of sweetness, um, particularly in a nostalgic kind of sense. And it's, it's very innocent, and it's very um, childlike, I guess. You know, so it's sort of saying the best possible outcome for you um, is to make amends with this person, to forgive them for whatever um, wrongs they have they have done you. Um, I think it's sort of saying you need to turn the other cheek and remember the good stuff that you have with this person. Um, and I think that you can easily get there since it's something that I think you want anyway. Um, alternatively, I mean, I could see it in a different way and say that the lovers as your goal or your hopes and fears is saying that you are looking to, you know, have a new relationship of some kind. Um, but uh, it doesn't really seem to be that way, given the lack of water here. Um, and given sort of the situation being about other things, um, what is about to happen in the situation? There is an influence that is coming that um, appears to be in the form of a man who may or may not be the same man aforementioned. Um, who is going to be very aggressive on something. Um, he's going to be very swift to either attack you again, or um, he, he just, I, I don't know, I don't, given the amount of bad air, I don't like him, frankly, uh, coming into your situation like this. I don't get a good vibe out of him, to be honest with you. Um, I think that there, that he's going to be a frustrated person. His influence, luckily, is transitory. It will pass relatively quickly. Um, he will not extend it. But it will be brief, and it will be ferocious, and it will be um, angry, and it will be... Um, sort of, his perspective will sort of be like, well, I was right, and you need to just, you know, deal with it, or something like that. You know, he, he's sort of full of conviction, whether or not that conviction is valid, um, you know. Um, okay, so your, your overall result um, is the Page of Swords, which tells me that Despite your wanting to kind of maintain an innocence with this person, the overall result is sort of a wariness. You're not going to, it doesn't look like you're going to trust this person quite the same way ever again. You know, and, and my damn cord, and of course this battery is, you know, on its way out. 
It's oh, holy shit. Sorry. Um. Anywho, you're uh, you're not ever gonna quite trust him. Um, in regards to the situation, or in regards to your finances, what have you. Um. And you're always gonna be kind of cautious about it. You're, you're going to be more cautious about how you manage your own material affairs, but I think you're also going to be more cautious about your relationship with this person. And, again, I don't know who it is, really. Um, I, it's hard to tell. I don't know if it is your father. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's just uh, someone else, a boss, anything. I, I'm not sure. Um... But it it does seem like they've let they've hung you out to dry, whoever it is. Um, I also get the sense that there's going to be this insistence on this past experience with this person. You're not really going to let it go, and I think the reading is trying to point you in the direction of letting go. You know, and it's saying that it would be better to extend warmth to this person instead of anger and enmity, you know, it, because it's sort of saying that you're always going to be kind of reflecting on this betrayal, and it's not going to ever quite leave you, which is such a Scorpio thing to do, my dear, and I totally relate, um, but you need to be the bigger person here, I think, and you need to recognize that, you know, you, you do want to regain this kind of lost innocence between the two of you, which is why I do sort of feel like it is, you know, your relationship with your father in some way, um, you know, because it, it seems like, or, or your mother, you know, it could be your mother as well, I know your mother's going through some issues as well, um, but it does seem to be more of a masculine influence, um, Granted, uh, well, I, I don't know, I mean, granted women sometimes are represented as male figures if they have a predominantly male energy or personality, so it, it still could be your mother, um, but I don't quite, I, I, don't, I don't know, honestly, I really don't, um, it doesn't really say, obviously, for sure, <laughs> um, but I do think that, that um, you are afraid that that innocence is lost, you know, that the relationship is sort of too damaged at this point to return to the way it was, which was sort of paradisical and innocent. Um, you know, and, and, and it's sort of saying that that isn't lost, you know, that if you continue to let the frustration happen and if you, if you allow this person to get to you, then, yes, that innocence will be forever lost. But you, it's saying that you have to comfort that person in a way. You know, you have to be kind to this person, whoever this person is. You have to be kind of nurturing to them and generous and with your, with your heart, you know, and your attention. Um, you know, you really have to express a genuine kind of love here, is what it's telling you, that, that that is the best route and the most noble route for you to take, you know, and I, and I think you are trying to take the noble route, you know, you are seeing yourself as the chariot again, you know, but I think in some ways, as part of that, you want to sort of isolate yourself from this situation, you know, and sort of go your own way and uh, sort of by force of will just uh, struggle your way through by yourself. And I, I don't know if that's necessarily the best possible thing for you. I do think that it is good that things are s seemingly getting better, um, that, again, fortune has kind of worked its way um, to sort of improve things, perhaps, 
Um, of course, I could be saying this, and you're like, well, I've had nothing but bad luck over the past month. You know, I mean, because your air sign, your air uh, stuff in here is, is predominantly negative and aggressive. You know, so the Wheel of Fortune could be could be bad, but I, I, I get this sense, like I was saying before, that it's sort of a little bit of both, you know, and I think some of it is just of your own accord, whatever good luck has befallen you, I think part of it is because of your own innate ability. Um, you know, the underlying card of all of this is the Magician, which is interesting, because the Magician does indicate several things. It indicates ability and talent, but it also being Mercury can represent deception and sort of someone who has a way with words, um, someone who can easily deceive you into thinking something that is not true. Um, you know, so it, it, it is a card of illusionment and it, it, could be, um, it could be taking on that meaning as well, you know. I think in general you, you've seen so guarded about this. You seem very much in the interest of protecting yourself and watching out for yourself. And it's saying that that is not necessarily, again, it's not necessarily the route that is best. That, yes, you need to look out for yourself. I mean, we all need to cover our own behinds. But it's saying that you also need to open yourself up and not close yourself up from this person, you know, or from this experience, you know. You have to be willing to learn from it and learn to love through it, which is very difficult. Um, but I think there's something to be said for that. Um, okay. So if you have any questions, you can please let me know. Um, please let me know if it was right, if it was accurate enough. Um, and if you would like me to do it again, um, if it was not to your liking, then by all means, I don't mind doing that. All right. I, uh, I hope that answers whatever questions you had about stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, your birthday's coming out. Ooh, so exciting. We're getting so old. What the hell? 23. Good Lord have mercy. Ah, when did that happen? Didn't we just get Tabasa as freshman? I miss that very much. I miss those days. And I miss living down the hall from you and across the room, sort of, from you. <laughs> I do. I miss you all very much. I do. And I'm so glad I got to see you a few months back. I really am. My candle that I bought is done, but I have gone nuts buying all sorts of other candles. It's really terrible. But I have a bunch of other pumpkin ones now. You're not surprised I realized this. Um, I also bought a wick trimmer that I am very pleased with. Um, that's actually quite a cute little invention. Um, I have had possibly the gayest fall possible because of said candles, but really, you know, when do I not have a gay fall? Uh, well, this is the first year ever, not ever, um, in the past five years that I will not be doing drag for Halloween. I will not be doing anything for Halloween. It's really bumming me out, actually, because I look forward to it usually all year. You know, ooh, what attempts at doing drag am I going to make this year? And each year it's sort of steadily gotten slightly better. And this year I will not have that opportunity. So I don't really have any friends anymore, frankly. Not any that um, want to do anything with me on things like that on days like uh, tomorrow. But what are you going to do? Anywho, I don't mean to depress you more than you may already be, which is not good. And um, and let me know how you are. I like hearing from you. I do. So, you know, let me know how things are. And 
not just this situation, but, you know, I'm sure there are many other things going on in your busy life. So if you have time, you know, shoot me a buzz. I love you very, very much. My, my wonderful, beautiful sister, I love you very much. And I, uh, I hope that you are well otherwise and that you will continue to persevere and have dignity and strength. All right, I think that I'm out. <sighs> Bye.